Hi, and welcome back to my channel, where every day we explore the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Today, we're about to embark on an enchanting journey into the world of butterflies. These graceful creatures hold a special place in our hearts, and we're going to take a closer look at their incredible transformation. But what's even more captivating is the wisdom we can glean from their existence. So, grab your Bible, and let's embark on this spiritual exploration. Before we delve into our first object lesson, let's immerse ourselves in the captivating life cycle of a butterfly. Just like a humble caterpillar, we all go through stages of transformation in our lives. But therein lies a profound truth, change can lead to something exceptionally beautiful. In the sacred verses of 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17, we read, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, they are a new creation, the old has gone, the new has come. This transformation mirrors the journey of a caterpillar becoming a butterfly, shedding its old self to embrace a new, radiant life in Christ. Just as the caterpillar emerges as a butterfly, we can experience renewal and transformation in Christ. Next, let's take a moment to appreciate the graceful flight of a butterfly. Have you ever marveled at how effortlessly they glide through the air? This elegant spectacle reminds us of the unparalleled freedom we find in Christ. In Galatians 5 verse 1, we are reminded, it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm, then, and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. Like butterflies, we too should embrace the wings of liberty that Christ extends to us, breaking free from the chains of sin and guilt. Just as the butterfly soars through the skies, our faith in Christ can lift us to new heights of freedom. Butterflies, much like this delicate creature, find nourishment from the vibrant petals of flowers. This serves as a poignant reminder that we, too, should seek spiritual nourishment in our lives. In the timeless words of Matthew 4 verse 4, we read, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Just as butterflies depend on nectar, we should rely on the sweet sustenance of God's word to nourish our souls, fortify our faith, and ensure our spiritual growth. Just as butterflies gather nectar for survival, we should seek God's word for our spiritual sustenance. Observe the kaleidoscope of colors adorning these delicate wings. In their stunning beauty, butterflies reflect the glory of creation. Similarly, we can learn to reflect the glory of God through our actions. In Matthew 5 verse 16, we find the profound message, In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Just as butterflies adorn the world with their colors, we are called to illuminate the world with our faith and good deeds, magnifying the glory of our Heavenly Father. Just as butterflies display their colors, our actions should reflect God's glory. Lastly, take a moment to appreciate the delicate nature of butterflies. Their fragility serves as a poignant reminder of our need to rely on God's strength in our moments of weakness. In 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9, we are reassured with the words, But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Like these delicate creatures, we may be fragile, but in our weakness, we find his strength. We can trust in his grace to carry us through life's challenges. Just as butterflies depend on their fragility, we can depend on God's strength in our weakness. As we conclude our captivating journey into the world of butterflies, we've discovered these five profound object lessons from the Bible intertwined with their remarkable lives, metamorphosis, freedom, nourishment, reflecting God's glory, and relying on God's strength. Much like the wondrous transformation of a caterpillar into a butterfly, we too can experience spiritual growth and inner beauty in our lives. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more content on the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Comment below and let me know what object lessons we can learn from butterflies and which animal you would like me to discuss. Thanks for watching.